Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I want to do a video about my buzz baits. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos, you know that I like buzz baits. Um, you have to pardon my voice. I've had the flu for like a month and pretty much over it, but still coughing and hacking. Anyhow, moving on. I just got these. I took it out of the package already. Cavitron. Three eighths ounce buzz bait. I got a black one and a uh, chartreuse and white with a gold blade. Really, really excited about throwing this one. You can see it has the holes in the blade. I don't know that I'll put a trader hook on it. Because a lot of the ponds that I fish are a little too thick with grass and weeds to be throwing a trader hook on them. I may throw a uh, plastic trader. I may just throw it like this. I'll probably just throw it like this for a little bit. I don't think I'll do any modifications to it at all at first. I'll probably just take it straight out of the box and throw it for a little bit and see how it does. That's the chartreuse and white one. It's got a uh, red hook. And I got the solid black one. Just got some glitter on the head. This one also has the holes drilled. They're supposed to be really, really slow. And you'll see in some of my videos in the future when I'm throwing a buzz bait, a lot of times I'm not burning it back to the bank like most guys do. I really like that style. That's, that's awesome. Um, a lot of times I'm running it really slow and just right underneath the water column to where this spinner is just barely breaking the top or this buzzer. It's barely breaking the top of the water column. So I'm, I'm hoping that these are going to work out really well. I also picked up the Strike King Chartreuse with the little red tails and the red hook buzz bait but I'm gonna throw that one straight out of the package for a little bit too and then I'll probably do a modification or two to it I'll probably clip it to the antenna on the truck and uh, make that blade squeal a little more um, once again I doubt I'll put a trader hook on that I might actually but I've got a red trader hook that'll match that I might on that one if not I'll put a plastic trader on it um i've got several others i've literally got a box full of nothing but uh, if i can get up here you'd see full of buzz baits um a lot of them i've already done modifications to here's your shad color with a little paddle tail trailer. Here's a uh, another chartreuse in white with some red flakes in it. Here's a solid white one that has the I can't think of what the, the uh, buzzer is called, but it's got the little triangle jet looking propeller style for this thing I put a little Havoc wide Havoc paddle tail on it and uh, I've had good luck with this one let's see what else I've got in here I've got the uh, old Strike King black one with a clack clacker as you can see I've uh, fished that one a little bit it's a little beaten up I have ran a trader hook on this one, but it tends to get caught up in the weeds and the crap in some of these ponds. I haven't fished this one a whole lot. I think I've caught two fish on it. A little solid white with a bleeding tail. And I actually do have a, uh, actually I actually have a spinner bait or two in here, but this is mainly about buzz baits. Um, 
This one in particular right here is, if I can find a cheap uh, heart tackle, chartreuse and white, 3 8 ounce buzz bait. I believe I got them at Walmart for two or three bucks. Well, I'm going to show you my poor old beat up one that I've fished for a couple of years now. <laughs> Look at how beat up and mangled that skirt is. I need to put a new skirt on it. Look at the head. The head and paint's ripped off of it. I have had some awesome luck with this chartreuse and white buzz bait. This is my Everybody has their one beat up piece of crap. Looks like a piece of crap. Lure, well this is mine right here. And I, I've beaten this thing to death and caught dozens of fish on it. It's a great buzz bait. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's my basically my buzz bait. So I've got probably 14 or 15 more different colors. Mainly black, chartreuse, white. Chartreuse and white and couple of green pumpkins but I'm really excited about these cavatrons and their slow blades um, I'm looking forward to getting out and fishing those so anyhow if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel get out on the water and, and, and fish man um, teach someone how to fish share the experiences that you have had and you never know it can help someone yeah thanks for watching have a great day